the diesel shortage that is coming. Got some information of a local school district in this area. I'm not going to mention a school district just to protect the person that is talking. But he works in the bus department. I'll just say that. And they are scrambling to get diesel fuel. I don't know why. I don't know if they were totally out or just getting low. I don't know if the truck is just not bringing it on a timely manner because of the shortages. But they were scrambling yesterday for fuel. They actually sent some of their trucks that have the tanks on them to get fuel from other school districts. I don't understand that. I guess maybe because the state pays for it and, and they could you know, have uh, exchange, you know, to pay them back. You know, why didn't they just go to the gas stations? But I guess this school district runs a lot of buses. A school bus, and I just learned this this morning, I wanted to know, what do they get? Miles per gallon. 95% of all school buses in the United States are diesel. A school bus came about 10 miles an hour on the highway, just cruising down. But when you throw in stops, you throw in putting a lot of kids on that bus, um, some say four to six, some say six to eight. It just depends on the bus, the age, the traffic. So this just takes six miles a gallon for one gallon of diesel, which is over $5 a gallon, that's a lot of money. You're, you're using a ton of fuel, and if you got 100 buses, they're consuming a lot of fuel. Now, there's been talk of a diesel shortage on the East Coast. There's definitely, uh, stockpiles are way down, extreme down. Um, some trucking companies are saying in the next few days could be critical for them. I don't know why we're short. Diesel is a lot easier producing gasoline, but we are. But a local school district in my area, we're scrambling to get diesel for their school buses. As diesel goes up in price, that's gonna cause uh, school districts to spend tons of money. They could probably burn through their total fuel allotment in a few months. Because you know they were projecting probably a very cheaper rate I'm just going to throw this out, maybe $3 a gallon. Now it's over five. What if it goes to six, seven, eight? It is going to blow their budgets, which will cause more stress, maybe an increase in taxes down the road because the school district will need more. At least the state might um, contribute more. I don't know how that works, but money definitely comes from the state. So I hope you're prepping, hope you're preparing. This could get real, real, real quick if the East Coast suffers a diesel shortage. It's gonna cost, cause everything to go up in price, which everything's going up in price already. I hope you're preparing. The most emergent news from the bunker I've ever done. And you may have actually heard from the news already, but if not, you need to understand that we actually have a serious diesel shortage happening now and coming very soon across the country. It is incredibly serious, as we'll see in a few minutes. Make sure you stay through the video to understand how impactful this is. Well, first off, diesel fuel is already at a record high, um, up 63% already from last year. And uh, But now the shortages are starting to come across, and the shortage is coming, starting off the Northeast, and then going down from the Northeast across the East Coast, and of course, spreading West from there. Not to mention, the whole market is skyrocketing, being at record high, that is gonna cause diesel fuel prices to go everywhere high, even if they don't have the shortages at the pump. Um, part of this comes from the fact that Ukraine is sucking up so much diesel as Joe Biden tapped into our strategic reserves and sends it to Ukraine. It's already causing a shortage in the first place. If you didn't know, military equipment uses diesel gasoline, period, and that's all there is to it. And by sending a lot of it over there, it already caused, caused a shortage, but the shortage is not from necessarily a supply problem. And that's actually what's fascinating about this whole thing. The, the supply is there, but it's the refining that's the problem. Okay, we've seen nothing but fires and uh, destruction as far as the food supply goes across the country. Well, guess what? Here we go. On the East Coast, and again, it was a couple years ago, um, there was a refinery fire. It was East Coast's largest refinery caught on fire, burned down, and completely stopped production, Philadelphia Energy Solutions. And because of this, it took it 
it took our refining capacity from 1.6 million barrels to only 800,000 barrels. It cut it in half. And now we're finally seeing the tail end of this catastrophe hitting the United States, combined with sending our diesel to the war in Ukraine. Normally in America, we're seeing about a 6 million barrel deficit. Of course, that's where we see normal uh, fuel prices for diesel. We're at a 31 million barrel deficit, from 6 million to 31 million. But because of this shortage, because of the supply supply problems, because of the refinery problems, we're about to see the prices skyrocket even more. The shortages even more in diesel fuel. And now they are proposing rationing. When you see the rationing come in, you know that we're in a serious problem. And again, I could not stress how dire this is for the fact that basically diesel is being rationed out. Uh, the major tr tr truck stops across the country like Loves and Flying J Pilot have actual, ish, actually issued warning to the truckers to let them know this is what's coming very soon and they need to prepare. Uh, the truckers are already basically working on a margin as it is, trying to pay for the load. Um, and some gas stations are already sold out. You can't even get diesel at certain gas stations across the country. All right, so why is this so dire? Why is this co so catastrophic? And here's simply put what's happening. If you could actually relate diesel fuel to anything in the human body, it'd be the blood. Diesel fuel is the lifeblood of our country, period. Go to any highway, any road, you're gonna see trucks carrying diesel fuel in their tanks to deliver goods wherever they may go. And on top of that, to make matters far worse, as we're in the planting season and the season soon to be harvest, obviously in certain crops, good luck finding a major piece of farm, farm equipment that also doesn't use diesel. So not only do we see the farmers having to uh, charge more for the produce, but the truckers having to charge more to deliver the produce to the, the factories, and then the factories charging more to deliver the produce to the, the grocery stores, and the shortages on top of it as well. The new crisis that's gonna affect everyone. That's right, the new reports out confirmed one to two weeks and we will face our new major crisis. This will have huge effects on everyone. I'm gonna tell you what's going on, what to expect, and how to prepare you and your family the best as possible for this madness. Heard about the diesel shortage expected. I've got some brand new up-to-date information to help you understand what's gonna happen with this. It's gonna get crazy bad. The ripple effects on this one is ridiculous. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I'll give you guys a few tips to help you prepare for this to the best of your ability. That way you're not one of those people that suffer because you didn't do something. So recap if you haven't heard about this, diesel shortages. Diesel shortages is huge on the news right now. They're talking about it hitting the East Coast first. You may think, oh, diesel, I don't use diesel. That's not gonna affect me. This will affect everybody. And being aware of this and prepared for this is vital. If you guys haven't noticed, prepper, prepping is a modern day term these days. And as popular as prepping is, what's more important is how important it is to be prepping with all these crises. So here's what we know. The reports are saying that we are gonna see $10 a gallon gas and diesel. Studies by economists are seeing the ramping up prices just over the last month in diesel. And now with the new news, they're expecting diesel prices to go up to 10 bucks a gallon. And we don't know, it might not stop there. Major diesel and fuel corporations are stating right now in one to two weeks, they will be seeing fuel rationing starting. And in the Eastern part of the United States, completely running out at some places. The places on the red hot radar are North Carolina all the way up to New York City. Those are known to be the areas to see the shortage first. And the chain reaction and ripple effect in this is going to be a domino effect with a lot of issues. Reports say that our fuel is disappearing largely by the fact that we're sending it to Europe right now. Russia is known as the second largest fuel producer. Europe is trying to find ways and strategizing how to cut off the fuel supply and America, as always, is coming to aid, whether it hits us in the backside or not. Looking at this report, yep, we're sending much of our fuel to Europe in the time of need, which is creating high crises here at home in the US. See here that CEO from Freight Waves is stating that three major fleets are bracing for impact. And this includes Loves and Pilot, major trucking fuel companies. As I said, they're expecting rationing to start in as early as one week from today. 
And an even scarier part, they're expecting 25% of their locations to go bone dry. There are currently trucker alerts being spread like wildfire right now. This is gonna have a major, major chain reaction to a lot more than you think. When they start rationing diesel, that means no deliveries. That means your stores aren't gonna be restocked. That means your packages that you're ordering from Amazon, Walmart, anywhere, aren't gonna show up or they're gonna be extremely late if they find a resolve to this because it takes the truckers to get all of the merchandise to the store. It takes truckers to get the merchandise to your home. These items that go to the grocery store, that go to Walmart, that go to the UPS, they come in very large trucks and truckers need diesel. And when it comes scarce or not available, oh boy, the chain reaction. We are huge fans of the working class trucker. Truckers make our world go around with what we need. So sending out a bunch of respect to any of the truckers out there. So another thing that happens when that diesel gets rationed or is no longer available at their fueling stations, like I said, no deliveries or very limited. The scary part is this is going to induce panic. I'm not spreading panic right now. I'm spreading the news, but I can tell you there is going to be a large population of people out there panicking because what is available out there is going to become unavailable very fast, which is going to create a panic of people going to get what they can. That's right. You're going to see panic buying like you've never seen it before. And it may not have anything to do with it being available as far as shortages. It's going to be supply chain issues. We are not going to be able to get it from point A to point B. Much like the ships that were sitting off the coast, just sitting there with things aging and rotting and spoiling. That became such a big deal. There's issues that are reaching crisis levels and are going to impact our collapsing domestic supply chains as soon as next month. We must expose what is truly going on right now before it's... We are looking at a nightmare in terms of global diesel shortage that will shock people starting June. One industry insider warned on Sunday when diesel inventories on the East Coast were at 18 million barrels, which represented only about three days of demand. However, on that very day, diesel supplies ran down to less than 10 million barrels, and they continue to decline further and further with each passing day, leaving the United States in a very risky position. Without diesel and other middle distillate fuels, our trains and trucks can't run, and the lack of transportation services can push domestic supply chains over the edge in a matter of days, but cause damages that can last for months or even years. Even a moderate shortage of fuels would be paralyzing for the U.S. economy. Already, Soaring prices for fuels have been contributing to inflationary headwinds due to their vital role in the American and global economy. At this point, retail prices for gasoline in the U.S. are up 45%.